Another question I always get asked is, what is LTE Cat1 BIS? It's simple. Cat1 BIS, as I like to call it, is an LTE standard developed especially for IoT applications, and it does challenge the LPWAN devices, CatM1 and NB-IoT. It's not part of the LPWAN family, but it's very close in both power saving and cost. LTE Cat1 BIS uses existing LTE networks for operation. The main difference being it operates with a single antenna rather than dual antenna. The rest being exactly the same, the data rate, the reliability, the global coverage, the cell handover, and more important, the latency. With LTE Cat1 BIS only needed a single antenna, this does make devices smaller and more cost effective than its LTE variants. While the hardware cost is higher than LP1 devices, it does provide that higher data rate, better coverage, and low latencies. In some use cases, it outweighs the cost, but the negative side is the power consumption compared to LP1 devices. Where did LTE Cat1 BIS come from? Well, we've all seen in the press where NBIoT Cat1 devices are being rolled out in the thousands and in the millions. But we've also seen MNOs dragging their feet, not in enabling CatM1 or installing the infrastructure they need for NBIoT. Here we see the modem manufacturers make a cheap, low cost modem. A single antenna, less power, same footprint, but it sits on top of the current LTE infrastructure, meaning that the MNOs do not have to make any changes. In a nutshell, LTE Cat1 BIS provides a less complex design on a single antenna while delivering LTE performance. With reduced power consumption and a smaller footprint compared to LTE, but as I like to say, not as good as LP WAND type devices, but it's very close. Is there a market for LTE Cat1 BIS? Yes. Modem prices are falling, watch this space. But more important, global coverage is available today.